Now to the heartbreaking story concerning the fentanyl related death of a toddler in Sloan, the mother of the 18 month old 32 year old Rochelle Alicia charged with manslaughter in this case. Prosecutors say her 15 month old son Theodore somehow ingested the fentanyl inside a home on William Street last November. The toddler later died in the hospital in our Derek Hyde tonight, turning the mic over to the acting district attorney along with the Erie County Commissioner of Health for more on the dangers surrounding drugs and children. This is 15 month old Theodore Alicia Smith. Acting district attorney Michael Kane tells me this little boy died from acute fentanyl intoxication. I haven't seen a case like this involving a child, let alone a baby. Theodore's mom, 32 year old Rochelle Alicia, is now charged with manslaughter. DA Kane tells me Theo's death was unintentional, but still inexcusable. We, we, we certainly want to help people that have addictions. We want to make sure they stay out of the criminal justice system. But when people end up dead, especially a little baby like this child, we're going to prosecute those people. This baby was is no longer with us and has died because of the recklessness of this mom. I also spoke with Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein about the fentanyl epidemic's impact on our community. And, you know, obviously we all know fentanyl is deadly for adults, but how much more dangerous can it be for, you know, young children who are still developing? Um, the same drug that we would take may not have an effect on an adult. You know, in a child, it'll be much more concentrated because they have a much smaller blood volume. So it would cause, you know, much uh, stronger toxic effects. Burstein also wants to make sure people know more about Narcan and that anybody can take it. Um, Narcan works regardless of age. So it's really a, it's a, like a no risk situation of giving Narcan. I mean, you could potentially save a life and you know, if they're unconscious from something else, there's no harm done. Both Kane and Burstein encourage those struggling with addiction to seek help and reach out to the county. Alicia's court date has not yet been scheduled. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Sloan.